hello everyone and welcome to Extreme Graphics Tech. My name is Angelo and today I want to make a, an opinion piece video, right? Um, uh, and this is because lately there's been a lot of discussion about the VRAM, the amount of VRAM that is good for cards and how 8 gigabytes of VRAM is no longer enough because of the new, uh, well, not new now, but the, uh, the current generation of console who has 16 gigabytes of VRAM or, or general purpose RAM, to be honest. And so why 8 gigabytes of VRAM is not enough. And I have to say, and um, maybe some people won't agree with me, and that's fine, that I don't agree with that statement. I don't think 8 gigabytes of VRAM is not enough. And I think there is a shared responsibility here and people are just looking on one side. But let me start by saying this, okay? I do understand and I do believe that GPU should have more VRAM because, well, you know, it's better to have it and not need it than needing it and, and not having it. That's fine. However, um, and I, I don't, with the prices they're having and everything, there is no justification for not having more VRAM. But let's put that aside and let's just talk about the technical aspects of the things and games, okay? Because uh, then we can talk, you know, money, political, greediness of NVIDIA and so on and so on. And we know that new, um, new GPUs apparently are coming with only 8 gigabytes of VRAM, like the 4060 and so on. And there is this whole discussion and that's another discussion. I just want to talk about the technical aspect of this part of the conversation, which is the thing I'm not complete. I don't completely agree. Now, as I said before, let me get this clear. If you can get the more VRAM you get, the better. So you are not having to worry about it. But to me, saying 8 gigabytes of VRAM is not enough, I don't agree with that. I don't agree with that. I'm going to explain why. And then, of course, you can disagree with me and give me your reasons, always with respect. Okay, so this conversation has started because recently many games have had some issues when it comes to VRAM management on PC, okay? Uh, where 8 gigabytes of RAM or even 12 gigabytes of VRAM seems to be not enough for many new games coming out. Like, for example, the most recent The Last of Us Part 1. Okay, and I can understand, for example, let's use as an example the 3070, right? Which is supposed to be like a middle ground GPU and that, you know, everybody was not happy with the amount of VRAM when it came out. And they, okay, they, they were sort certainly at some point, I, I think for the price, it should have come at least with 12. But okay, the fact is that that car is an 8 gigabyte card, okay? That, giga, that car is going to be used mostly for 1440p games and some 4K gaming. But I think the majority of people playing on a 3070 are using it for 1440p, okay? So, by, by, by stating that, now let's talk about this VRAM need, okay? To begin with, it's true. The current generation of console has 16 gigabytes of VRAM. But let's not forget that those 16 are not available for games. Only 12.5 are available for games because 3.5 are being used by the operating system, the OS of each one of these consoles, Series X and PlayStation 5. So to begin with, already we have 12.5 uh, gigabytes available, which is still 4.5 more than a 3070 has. But at the same time now, remember, not all 12.5 are going to be used only for graphics there. There is going to be a lot of logic, animation, sound, and other things that are going to be in uh, use out of those 12.5 for the game. So let's say, let's just put a number. It could be more, it could be less, but just say, just to have a random number, the 2.5 gigabytes of those are going to be used for a uh, logic CPU and anything non-video related. So that gives us 10 gigabytes of usage for textures, um, particles, and everything else that the game needs that is graphics or whatever included there, okay? So, well, you could say that's still two gigabytes over. Fine, that's true. But now the question that I, don't, uh, that I make myself is, on PC then, when you are adjusting your VRAM, okay? Most of these games, sometimes most gamers just go for ultra and then complain that there is not enough VRAM. In the case of the last of the Last of Us Part One, for example, that's a bad port. No matter how much many people may say, that, yeah, it could, it's a bad port, but also it shows that you need uh, more VRAM. Because no, no, I don't agree with that, and I don't agree with that. And the reason for it is because you can lower 
your uh, textures on that game to fit onto 8 gigabytes of VRAM, right? You can lower it to medium. The problem is that when you lower the, the textures to medium, they look horrible. They look very, very bad. And now you may be thinking, well, that's exactly our point that you can have textures on Ultra. No, because that shows to me how little care and it was on optimizing that game. And why I say this is because if you see the textures on The Last of Us Part 1, I'm going to be putting some picture that um, uh, Digital Foundry show on Medium, it looks horrible. It's bad. And the problem with that statement is that they look worse than The Last of Us Part 2 on PlayStation 4. And that's where I can agree with the, the fact that you need more than 8 gigabytes of VRAM and that you should be having more VRAM in that case. Because how can any game on PC justify textures looking worse than when they were launched on PlayStation 4? A machine that only has 5.5 gigabytes of RAM available for games. Because it's an 8 gigabyte machine but only has 5.5 for games. So, that's where I, I don't agree with the fact that you need more VRAM because then we are taking responsibility from the developers, from whoever is porting the game. In this case, it's Iron Galaxy. Because you cannot tell me that this game has worse textures than a game that came out on PlayStation 4. Also, Red Dead Redemption 2, a game that came out on PlayStation 4 that has better textures than The Last of Us Part 1 on Medium. That makes absolutely no sense. It's just, it's just stupid. When and can you play a 4K or Red Dead Redemption 2 on a 3070? Yes, you can. Can you play a 4K uh, Cyberpunk with ray tracing on in eight gigabytes of VRAM? Yes, you can. Can you play Spider-Man? Can you play Red Dead Redemption 2? As I said Returnal. Can you play Forza Horizon 5? Can you play uh, a Plague Tale Requiem? Can you play Gears 5? So there are many very good looking games at 4K that fit on 8 gigabytes of VRAM even with ray tracing on. So yes, I know in the future this may you know evolve and you may need more and more VRAM because well, you know, games are supposed to look better and better. But the problem for me is that on PC, you are supposed to be able to adjust settings in order for them to um, feel or work okay on your GPU. And those settings, you know, you have to justify things on PC. So if I, I see a game and it looks like why this game is asking me for 12 gigabytes of VRAM when I don't see any graphics you know that justify that and you'd say this game uses a lot less ram and it looks so much better so when that happens it's because this game is just not well optimized so yeah it would be better to have a 3070 with 16 gigabytes of vram so this game will you know just fit in but by saying that you're also saying that the developers are going to be lazy and one of those big problems is that they are always going to you know Oh, well, you know, everybody has 16 gigabytes of VRAM on PC, so just go with it and just don't optimize because where they have it. And when you look at the Steam data, more than 60% of the user has cards with 8 gigabytes or less. So, who are you selling your game to? Or are you so lazy in order to optimize your game that the only way to look at good is Ultra? You show an Ultra and if you don't have a way to move the game on Ultra then you have to accept that your game has to look like crap just because they are not willing to make the, the textures in a quality that is good. Normally they don't even make the texture. What they do is just use some algorithm that automatically changes the uh, quality of the texture. So that's why normally they look so bad when you go from a, a setting that is not the default by the developer. For example, in Red Dead Redemption 2, if you go any level lower than the high ultra settings, that is the same settings used on PlayStation 4 for textures, they look terrible because it's just automatic transition of between levels of quality of textures. So they will need to create like a second set of medium quality textures in order for them to keep the quality without losing too much. But as I said, there is many games that have medium texture that looks great, including for example, Hogwarts Legacy, and even, and even then, um, besides all the problem, Resident Evil 4, even on two gigabytes of texture, it looks okay. And I'm saying this, 
uh, even criticizing Resident Evil 4 by the VRAM issues they have, because as you know, that game is VRAM hungry and it crashes the game. It doesn't stutter or anything, which is the normal behavior that a game that's starving for VRAM should have. The game literally just crashes. So that's another unoptimized VRAM game. So what I'm seeing here is a pattern that what is showing me is that developers are not optimizing their game to run correctly or to manage VRAM correctly. And it could be a problem with drivers, it could be a problem with the engine, it could be both because there were things that were not explainable like the fact that Resident Evil 4 on an ARC Intel A750 with 8GB of RAM with certain configuration ran ok with no crashes and on another more powerful 8GB uh, um, graphic card the game crashed. So what I'm seeing here is a lot of problem with VRAM and once again I'm going to say I'm not taking responsibility out of the GPU manufacturers while saying this what I'm trying to say is that it's not only their fault and we should not just be oh we should have bought um, and you have to feel bad now because you didn't bought a 16 gigabytes VRAM what we should do is ask for better ports because what we've seen in the last year is terrible when it comes to the uh, PC space and that's where my problem is but uh, as the same as we have seen very bad ports we also have seen some very good ones that work very good and even on an 8 gigabyte of vram and the next uh, jedi fallen survivor at least on a spec is only asking on the recommended settings for an 8 gigabytes of vram and that's a very you know it's an unreal game with a lot of uh, sort of open worlds not open but you know what i mean there are different many worlds and so on and they are not asking you to have a 16 gigabytes of VRAM um, available for that play to work. Uh, so from my point of view, um, yes, the more VRAM you have, it will be better. But here there is a, a mixed responsibility and I, and, and I don't think 8 gigabytes of VRAM should not be enough. I think 8 gigabytes is more than enough to at least to have medium, high, not ultra in some cases, but that's fine because even medium and high should have enough quality. Have you seen sometimes, and this is going to be maybe a dumb example for some, but have you ever seen a, like a two megabyte JPEG picture and converted it like for from four megabytes to one megabyte? And you can see some degrading quality but not enough to say it's bad it is still good you have to go very low for starting to see a big degradation on the quality of the picture so how is it that you can you know lower the quality of just an image which is essentially is a texture and gain have to have this huge impact i know there is more than just a flat texture i know there is the c buffer there is a lot of information color information depth information and more but still the compression quality of the final image cannot be the ones i show on the uh, digital foundry image from the last of us part one so from my point of view this is not just a fall of 8 gigabytes of vram it's also a fall of developers not optimizing the games good enough on pc and that's my take on this um, if you can get a you know more VRAM card, it's okay. But this is a, 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 a slippery slope because then the more VRAM you have, then the more um, they are, the less they are going to optimize, and then they are going to always be blaming you for not having the latest hardware. You remember the days when a 1066 gigabyte was more than enough, and it has lasted for six years. What happened to that? Why now all of a sudden? you require like 20 gigabytes of VRAM. It makes no sense, it should work.